Hi guys, Wanchuber here and in today's video I'm going to talk about Prosecco Frizzante and Prosecco Spumante. What is the actual difference in between those two wines? Let's find out! Prosecco is a sparkling wine produced in the northern part of Italy in the region of Veneto and approximately 10% of Prosecco is also produced in the Friuli area. If you'd like to learn more about other types of Prosecco, click the link above or one in the description below. But if you'd like to learn more about Prosecco Frizzante and Spumante and what is the difference in taste in between those two wines, watch this video until the end. Fun fact before we move on to the main topic, did you know that still Prosecco also exists? Yes. Still Prosecco is called Prosecco Tranquilo and some producers also call this wine Prosecco Fermo. The first difference between Prosecco Spumante and Frizzante is the packaging. Most of inexpensive and supermarket Frizzante wines are bottled with the screw cap, which is on the other hand, majority of Spumante wines have proper mushroom cap that can be also found in the other sparkling wines such as Champagne or Cava. Fun fact, did you know that traditionally Prosecco Frizzante were sealed with regular cork and secured with little string around the neck? This type of packaging is called Spago or Corda and can be still found on the market. And if you want to open that Prosecco properly, you still need a corkscrew. The second difference between Prosecco Frizzante and Spumante is the price. Prosecco Frizzante is way cheaper in Ireland than Prosecco Spumante. It's because the Irish duty fee. According to Irish government, Prosecco Spumante is considered as a fine, almost premium wine. This is why the duty fee is 6 euro and 38 cents per bottle plus VIT, which is on the other hand, Prosecco Frizzante is considered as an almost table wine and the duty fee is only 3 euro and 19 cents per bottle plus VIT. This is why, especially in Ireland, Prosecco Frizzante is cheaper than Prosecco Spumante. The third and the most important difference between Prosecco Frizzante and Spumante is the amount of bubbles. Prosecco Frizzante is medium sparkling and contains less than 2.5 bars of pressure, which is on the other hand, Prosecco Spumante is fully sparkling and contains more than 3 bars of pressure. Just for comparison, each bottle of champagne contains between 5 to 6 bars of pressure. And also, Prosecco Frizzante is getting flatter sooner than Prosecco Spumante. Does the level of bubbles can change the aromas of the wine? The answer is no. The smaller amount of fizz is not gonna affect the aromas of the wine. However, Prosecco Spumante can change the perception of the flavors of the wine, as the mousse is more intense. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, I know that all of us have a budget. So if your budget is lower, you should probably go for Prosecco Frizzante. However, I highly recommend to spend few extra euros or few extra dollars and get a bottle of Prosecco Spumante as it's more enjoyable. By the way, don't miss out my next video, fun facts about Maud and Shandon House. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and See you next time!